time you left and the last time you came into town? Well, Marshal, you don't scare us not either. We got Clint back here. He's the fastest gun in the West.
get out of get too weak, get too weak ride. It's time we need to avenge for what that marshal did to get the curly and we're right. I'm down in the seat like a dog, Clem. You were there, you saw. I saw it too. It's with me. Every night I wake up in a cold sweat, thinking about curly. Dying in the street. Like a dog. Just like a dog. I can't do that. <laughs> I can't say it right. Curly! 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 <laughs> Let him get away with that. I oh, don't know. We're going to meet him tomorrow morning. Some time up, we ride in town, you and me. Call that marshal out in the street like the dog. She is. She's the dog, Curly. Tomorrow morning, you and me, Clem, ride into town after the sun rises. All right? Are you with me, boy? Clem? What do you say? You with me? I'll, I'll take that as a yes.
Jack. Happy, Jack. Uh, it's been a while. What brings you back to town? Well, I come out on account of my sister. I rode out as soon as I could. I'm a little late, though. Someone shot her in the back, Pat. The marshal? How bad? They killed her, Pat. I'm pretty sure it was this feller, Clem, too. And I fully intend to return the favor. Yeah, I'm familiar with this Clem, too. Anyone see him do it? No, not directly. But his partner, Clem, come riding into town this morning, shooting it up, saying that Clem, too, was calling her out, threatening my sis. Him and Clem, too, have been raising cane all over this county lately. See, seems like they're taking a keen interest in bothering with this town and, and uh, with my sis. It all started when she shot and killed Clem's boss, Curly. And we applaud her decision to do so, Jack. Well, this won't stand. I have an idea where them two are hiding out. I'm heading out now to end this once and for all. You ask me to back you, Jack? No, this fight's between me and Clem, too. I come out here to give you this, Pat. My sister wrote in a letter how, how she wanted you to consider taking this, wearing this badge, in case she didn't make it. I guess she knew that her brother, her gunfighter brother, wasn't the lawman type. Well, I'm partial to keeping to myself, Jack. Uh, I don't like to get involved in town affairs. I'll have to do some uh, thinking on this one. That'd be fine, Pat. That'd be right fine. person's health you should be concerned with is your own. You shot and killed my sister. What are you talking about? I don't even know you, and I have no knowledge of who your sister might be. Well, you should, because she's the woman you and your partner have been messing with. Marshal Josephine Morgan. And it's my understanding your partner Clem rode into town making threats in your name upon my sister Josie. The Marshal? Y'all sister, well, 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 I did not know this, and that big brother has come to save the day. Little sister maybe shouldn't have been wearing a badge if she couldn't bear what all comes with it. You son of a... I don't know too many women or men that can bear a bullet in the back. Now you listen close, because these are the last words from my mouth you're going to hear. My name is Jack Morgan. As far as I'm concerned, I hold both you and Clem accountable for killing my sister. And I'm about to shoot you both dead. And I'm starting with you. So you best get to shooting, because your time has come.
gunfighter Jack Morgan. And you must be Clem. I guess I must be. And you might as well set that empty pistol down on the ground, Jack. Set it down on the ground. Take a few steps back. Long time coming right here, Jack. This moment right here, long time coming. I thought you might remember me. Like I might look kind of familiar like. Nobody comes to mind. That don't surprise me none, Jack Morgan. You being a famous gunfighter and all. Can't be expected to remember all them fellas you done killed. Where are you getting at? This is getting tired. You know, Jack? Looks just to say me and my brother looked a lot alike. My little brother, that is, Jack. You should remember my little brother. You shot him dead down in the Arizona Territory. Tombstone, Arizona, September 18th, 1879, at the Crystal Palace Saloon. Does that ring a bell, Jack? I remember a hot-headed young man accused me of being a cheat, challenged me to a gunfight. You wouldn't know, but I tried to give that boy a pass, but he just wouldn't take it. Unwisely, he challenged to gunfight me. Uh, I guess someone was destined to die that night, and it was bound to be your brother. It should have been you, Jack! It should have been you! Or you should have just walked away. He was just a, he was just a little kid trying to live up to his big brother. Uh, he, he was just trying to, trying to be me. Turned and walked away so he could shoot me in the back like his back shoots brother. <laughs> No, 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 no! You ain't gonna ruin this for me, Jack Morgan. Get on your knees! If you wanted me, why'd you kill my sister? Full circle, Jack. Full circle. Your sister killed Curly, so she got what was coming to her. You killed my little brother. And I'm gonna kill you. That's a shame about... Clem T's on time of demise. I was hoping he'd be a little bit quicker on the draw against you, Jack Morgan. I don't know. Guess it don't matter much. He wasn't that good a company anyways. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm gonna be famous. I'll be famous after killing you, Jack Morgan. Everybody talking about Clem! Now uh, he shot the famous gunfighter Jack Morgan. Right dead. Between the eyes. Hey. What took you so long? You wanted me to back you, all you had to do was ask. It looks good on you, Pat.